No. I love my job. Yes, I've done it. I've become the very thing I've sworn myself against. We're going full sim mode here because today I've spent my money on not just one, not two. Oh no, no, no. Those are rookie numbers. I've just spent my money subscribing to 13 OnlyFans creators in Singapore. Loser. You saw the title of the video and you clicked it too. You pervert. So we are all in this together. You are as guilty as I am. So let this be a judgment-free zone in the name of science. Just dropping a little precursor, this is my first time dipping my toes into the world of OnlyFans. Because I'm not the kind of guy who would pay for porn when I can get it for free on the hub. And sure, you can argue that OnlyFans isn't all porn, that it's a creative outlet for people to showcase their creativity with or without nudes. But that just makes it worse because now I'm not even paying to see tits. So what's the fucking point? But I digress. I think I'm doing you guys a huge favor by spending my own money to review our homegrown OnlyFans creators so that you can make an informed decision on whose OnlyFans to purchase. Although the correct answer would be instead to buy the Holy Bible. But let's not tell anyone you watched this video. Anyway, here's Singaporean OnlyFans creators that I've gotten from you guys, which I will rank in in terms of overall sexiness of content, creativity, and value for money. Some of you even asked me to review your OnlyFans page, which was kind of weird if I'm being honest, but let's get into the review. All right, here is our first OnlyFans creator, Asian Kitten or Ari. Good morning, like this post for uncensored version in your DMs. Tell me when you've done it. What? I still gotta DM you? I just paid you $10 a month and I still gotta DM you for an uncensored version? She blocked out her, her little uh, raisin so you can't see it. But uh, this photo looks quite aesthetic, not bad. Good lighting. Oh, she has a TikTok video. Let's see what it's about. Yeah, too many effects in the video. Huh? I think she's having a little bit of trouble putting on her pants. Oh, that's a straight up coochie shot. I haven't seen a straight up nude pic yet. She has a pretty cool looking tattoo though. A little shoulder tattoo. Alright, mostly photo shoots in her bedroom. I can see a little bit of a half cosplay thing. A lot of twerking and butt shots. Overall, I would give Asian Kitty's OnlyFans a solid 7 eggplants out of 10. For overall content sexiness, she does know how to pose for the camera and she definitely knows how to shake that booty. As for creativity, I would give her content 6 stars. She does dress up in various costumes like your standard nurse outfit or the underage Japanese schoolgirl. But I wouldn't say that the photos are of studio quality. Most of them are taken with a good phone camera at best. However, she does play around with different um, lighting colors, which is quite aesthetic. At $9.99 a month, I would give this a 7 out of 10 for value for money. She is quite consistent with her posts and has 253 media posts for you to indulge your sins in. I would recommend Asian Kitty's OnlyFans if you are into bad girls with tattoos and you're not willing to break the bank for some spicy content. We are at Princess Ginora now. Subscribe. Okay, so Princess Ginora sent a automated DM saying, Hello, thanks for subscribing to my profile. DM me your kings and let's talk about them. I love ear lobes. Ready uni girl who will drain your wallet. Don't like the sound of that. Let's see the quality of her content. I know many of you are here for my butt. Now kneel behind me and worship my cute peaches. <laughs> okay, who else loves face sitting? Just imagine being smothered under my ass. I won't move unless you let me flick to your dicklet licks. <laughs> your little dicklet is leaking. Good morning losers. Itching for a wallet drain? Start approaching. Hey, that sounds familiar. Does she watch my videos? Oh, here are some feed pictures. Oh, I mean, they look a little bit dry. You know, might need to moisturize your feet a little bit. After going through Princess Genora's OnlyFans, I feel like I've done something very wrong. Her bio says she's 20 years old, but I feel like I should be in jail. So for the sake of not looking like a complete creep, I'm just gonna give her 3 no. eggplants out of 10. Unfortunately, Princess Genora's content feel like something you can find on an NSFW Tumblr blog. Most of her outfits are of her in everyday clothes, so I'm only gonna give her 3 for creativity. She does have 285 media posts, none of them containing nudes, and her subscription costs $15 a month, which is in the mid-range in terms of price. So I would give this um, six money bags. If you are into skinny girls who look like they are too young to be on OnlyFans, you might like Princess Genora's content. This is made even more obvious by the photo set that she has in an HDB staircase landing. I mean, she definitely knows the target audience. All right, Rachel Lim. I'm fit and petite with small tits. That kind of rhymes. I'm fit and petite with the small tits. Free dick ratings. Perfect. I always wanted to have my dick rated and see where I fare among the Singaporean men population. This is a photo of her in a white dress dress with her tits hanging out and they are not censored. Okay, we have straight up porn here. Okay, she has a post here saying, I know, <laughs> I know you guys are always wondering how I look like. Here's a huge clue on how you guys can spot me in public. When you see a girl with a short skirt, look up her skirt and pull her panty aside. If you see a little mole on the exact same spot as mine, that's me. Yeah, sure man, I'm just gonna go in public and start lifting girls' skirt up and checking if they have a mole on their pussy. And that's totally normal behavior. Rachel Lynn's content is not something that you would find on Instagram. Instagram. 
for sure. It's full of uncensored images of fruits. And she's definitely not one to shy away from showing off her product. And that is why I give this a solid 9 eggplants out of 10 for overall content sexiness. As for creativity, Rachel Lim is all over the place. She has outfits in office wear, Japanese uniforms, countless varying pieces of lingerie. So there isn't a specific theme going on. So for that lack of creative direction, I'm gonna give her 4 stars for creativity. But if you are on OnlyFans just to jack the shit out of your meat pole, Rachel Lim's content is definitely a worthy contender. At $9.99 a month, you get full new and uncensored clips of her fruit basket. Now that's bang for your buck. So without a doubt, this deserves a 9 money bags for value for money. I would recommend Rachel Lim's OnlyFans if you are someone who's not really sure what you want and you're just on OnlyFans to beat your willy. Alright, next up we have KC Neo, KCF, and her OnlyFans costs a whopping $30 a month. Holy shit. Shit. Subscribe. Daily post. Okay. She posts daily. Okay, let's check out her content. That is a censored photo of her showering. That's a really nice bathroom though. Look at that marble tiling. Okay, just a photo of her. Oh, a tea pao set. I didn't know it was Chinese New Year already. This is one of her straight up naked on a bed. This is one of her in a bubble bath drinking beer. Wow, self-love day. She just posted a black screen video. Oh, okay. It's, it's a video of her moaning. Going through Casey's OnlyFans made me feel like I had a girlfriend that I wasn't even aware of. She gets up close and personal with her followers and really delivers on the whole girlfriend experience that she's trying to, you know, provide. Because she does a lot of personalized videos where she, you know, looks into the camera and, and kisses it. So, seven eggplants for that. Most of the photos seem to be taken by herself either in the bathroom or a selfie. So, nothing remarkable there. But this whole selfie angle that she's going for kind of works because it adds to the overall theme of a virtual girlfriend. So I'd give her 6 stars for creativity. Unfortunately, paying $30 a month is a very steep price considering the quality of her photos. 3 money bags. I would recommend Casey's OnlyFans if you are a lonely loser looking for an online girlfriend to share with dozens of other men. Alright, next up we have Titus Low 22 Yeah, this one's a guy. But um, hey man, I'm just here to review OnlyFans content. Doesn't matter if you're a guy or girl. Subscribe. I finally decided to launch my OnlyFans. Wait. Oh, he only launched his OnlyFans in July, which is slightly more than a month ago. And he's already at top 0.04%. Holy shit, should I start an OnlyFans too? Okay, I just, I just saw a video of him being tied onto a chair. And I guess his friend is tickling him with one of those, uh, what do you call that? Those BDSM uh, feather tools. But I could say he has really nice tattoos though. Okay, this is him in a police officer's hat and a little tie. And he's working out. <laughs> Uh, not sure if that's the best outfit to work out in, but um, hey, to each his own. This guy is jacked though. A lot of penis shots. Oh, he has a pole. Apparently, he's gonna start a new bondage series. Are you excited for this series? Oh, hell yeah, I am. Yes. <laughs> Nothing about Titus's OnlyFans turns me on. Not one bit. I think. But that doesn't mean his content is subpar. He's definitely not afraid to show his package from various various angles. I mean, I didn't even know there were so many flattering angles that one could take pictures of his schlong from. I would give his content a solid 8 eggplants out of 10 because there really are a lot of eggplants in his content. I can also see why he's the top 0.04% of OnlyFans creators because he does make an effort to curate his posts. Some of them look very professionally taken and he even has like short roleplay clips. So he definitely knows what he's doing. For that, 8 stars for creativity. At $20 a month, the price you're paying is quite a premium. However, if you're into dicks, this might be worth it because you're getting a lot of dicks. Seven money bags. I'd recommend Titus's OnlyFans to anyone who loves dicks. Just a friendly reminder, please don't go out giving grief to any of the creators I've mentioned or send hate because OnlyFans goes against the very fibre of your moral existence. It's pointless and it just doesn't help anything. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing to my OnlyFans. I mean, my YouTube channel. It's free and you can unsubscribe anytime you want. I have to say though that there is a wide spectrum of OnlyFans creators. You know, from people just reposting content from Instagram all the way to gather the boys and let's get wild, baby. So the range of content available is surprisingly large. At least that's the impression I get from this um, uh, scientific research. Well, that's it for me sounding like an OnlyFans brand ambassador. I'm not even sponsored for this video. All right, you can, you can leave your room now. It's safe to use your phone in public now. Thanks for watching. I'm going to clear my browsing history and probably make an appointment with my therapist. Bye.